It is now 543 time for traffic and weather together once again with meteorologist Shea Sorensen. And as predicted, it was indeed breezy on Saturday, Sunday, not so much. Uh, what's this week look like? Well, unfortunately, it's going to be a breezy day today with gusts as high as about 30 miles per hour, mainly to the east of Tucson, and then it's going to become a little bit more windy for your Tuesday. But today, pretty nice other than that wind, sunny and warm with highs in the 70s and 80s. Becoming windy for your Tuesday as the system passes by to the north, and that's going to be the case, especially to the south and southeast of Tucson. Gusts as high as about 40 miles per hour, and there's also an elevated fire risk because of that wind and the dry air in place. More details on that to come and then we're warming up into the low 90s starting on Thursday. That'll be the case through uh, this upcoming weekend as well. So going to get a little bit toasty. Looking at today's highs 86 for Metro Tucson, 53 for the mountains, low 80s in Santa Cruz County, upper 70s and low 80s in Cochise County. Breezy no matter where you live this afternoon with overnight lows tonight, mainly in the 40s and 50s. Looking at those forecast gusts for the rest of your day today. This is noon, so right around lunchtime gusts will be around 15 to 20 miles per hour, peaking up to about 20 to 30 miles per hour right around 5 p.m. this afternoon and then dying down this evening and overnight into tomorrow. By lunchtime on Tuesday, though, the gusts will be closer to 25 miles per hour and then by about 5 p.m. closer to 40 miles per hour, especially to the east and southeast of Tucson. So it's going to be a pretty windy day tomorrow and with that dry air in place, it's going to uh, increase our fire risk, unfortunately. So there is a fire weather watch for tomorrow. That includes Tucson, uh, Nogales, Sierra Vista, Douglas Safford, so a good portion of our easternmost counties, if not all of them, and then eastern Pima County and eastern Pinal County as well. That goes into effect tomorrow at noon and expires at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, as that will be our windiest uh, period of the day. Looking at your future pattern, that system passing by to the north of us will cause all that wind for tomorrow, but then it'll die down the rest of the week as a ridge builds in, and that is going to bring some pretty hot temperatures starting on Thursday as highs warm into the low 90s, potentially upper 90s by Sunday. So we're getting flirting awfully close to the triple digits by uh, next Sunday. Uh, the record high next Sunday is 99 back in 1992. As you can see, that record is in jeopardy for your Sunday. So getting pretty toasty. So enjoy the 80s because they're only going to really be here for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And Wednesday, by the way, is Earth Day.